Hey, I'm Coach Kozak, and I'm here today to teach you how to train sports specifically for obstacle races, um, such as the Warrior Dash, Tough Mudder, Spartan Race, etc., etc. Uh, in order to, uh, to exceed at these races, you not only uh, need the obvious part, which is the running ability, but you also need body weight, strength, and conditioning. And the way that these two intertwine is going to uh, determine your success in, in these races. So what I'm going to show you today, I'm going to go back and forth between a run interval and a strength exercise. And then when I'm all done showing you these, uh, these movements, I want you to click on the link at the, in the video description. It will shoot you over to HasFit and show you how the whole thing gets put together. First movement um, we're going to do is going to be a pull-up. Now, uh, I'm going to show you a couple different difficulties on the pull-up. I'm going to start with the easy version because a lot of people can't do a pull-up. So if you're training outside, you can do this too. You can use a tree. If you, if, uh, a, a tree limb, just make sure you pick a nice thick one. Don't want you falling on your butt. Um, a jumping pull-up is going to be the first one I want to show you. For those of you who can't do a pull-up yet, using your legs, I want you to jump straight up, getting, using, getting that boost from your legs as you pull at the same time. If you're not tall enough to reach well, whatever you're using to pull, feel free to grab a box, a step, anything that makes you a little taller so then you can do the jumping pull-ups. Now if you can do a normal pull-up, great, do so. Um, uh, the next thing we're going to do is going to be a running interval. So I'd like you uh, to next run one mile. Okay, next exercise we're going to do, so actually uh, the third one on the list is going to be a uh, high plank shoulder touch. So we're going to get down on the ground, and again, a lot of these races got you down, you know, uh, crawling through mud, etc. You have to have a lot of core strength, be able to support your own body weight. So from a high plank or a push-up position, back is straight, we're going to do shoulder touches. From the front, here. Good. Okay. Next one on the list is another one-mile run. Next, we're going to do jump squats. So with your weight back in your butt, we're going to do explosive movement uh, on your legs. This is a fast switch movement. Squat, jump straight up. Be weight back in your butt, squat, jump straight up. Make sure that when you're squatting, you bend your hips first, not your knees first. When you bend at your hips first, you're nice and healthy, weight's back in your hips. When you bend at your knees first, you're here forward on your toes and weight's over your knees. So weight back in your butt, jump. Next on the list, we're going to do... Uh, Whatever your, um, every one of these races has a different distance. So, so far we've ran two miles. If you're doing one of the longer distance uh, races, I would like you to uh, subtract the, the two miles that we just did from the total uh, race distance, and that's what you're going to do for this uh, last round of running. So, for instance, uh, uh, if I were to do a Tough Mudder, which was 11 miles, and so far I've ran two, well, guess what? That means this next interval, I have to run nine miles in between. So if you can't do it in training, you can't do it out in the woods. Uh, the last exercise we're going to do, last strength one, we're back down to the ground for this last one. Again, supporting your body weight, we're going to do a push-up. And then as you come up, I want you to lift up your alternate leg and arm. Push-up, leg and arm. Push-up. Leg and arm. Okay, so what I've done uh, is I've, I've balanced your running with different strength exercises that you can either do in the gym, you can do outside in the woods, you can do wherever it is you're training, you don't need a gym membership to do any of these, and you're going to get stronger in your own body weight so that when you get to these competitions, uh, you, know, uh, you know, a lot of people can run the distance, but then when you have to pull yourself up, it's like, oh my gosh, what is this? So this is going to prepare you for that. I'm Coach Kozak. Make sure you click that link at the bottom for the video in the video description. Check out our Facebook if you like motivation, and I'll see you next time.